uh, but they're here representing humanity, so I, I can't. <laughs> so here the letter put, I'm representing humanity, and you want 90 seconds, so I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> That counts as part of your 90 seconds. That's right, I ran over here. <laughs> heard this was going on, so I just needed to stand there. Thank you very much. What's your name, sir? Where are you from? Humanities. Pete Martino from Epsom. Thank you. You don't need this. You really don't. I was a colonel. I'm a retired colonel in the Marine Corps. I saw a sign back there that said, we want more Mayberry and less Fallujah. And I spent a year in Fallujah. And you know what? When I first got there, I didn't have armored uh, Humvees. And I spent... Uh, I Travel over 10,000 miles over there. And sometimes you got to deal with and go with what you have. And so that's part of the job, for one. The second thing is, though, when I was in Iraq, I was in charge, I was the Ministry of Defense Coordinator. My job was to man, train, and equip the Iraqi Army in Al Anbar, Najaf, Karbala, and northern Babila provinces. And I can tell you right now, well, somebody had the great idea to get rid of the Iraqi Army, so when we rebuilt it, we did everything we could to make it as strong as possible. And I'll tell you right now, Homeland Security would kick their butts in a week. What's happening here is we're building a domestic military because it's unlawful or unconstitutional to use American troops on American soil. So what we're doing is we're building a military. My best friend, who's a SWAT officer in Nashua, who came to Iraq with me to train the Iraqi police, sent me an email with a picture of him in the media on the streets of Watertown, Mass., wearing the exact same combat gear that we had in Iraq, only it was a different color. And what, the way we do things in the military is called task organization. You take a command, and then you attach units to it in order to accomplish the mission. What's happening is Homeland Security is pre-staging gear, equipment, consistent. What they're trying to do is use standardized vehicles, standardized equipment. I saw a picture in the Boston Globe during the marathon bombing where there was a state police officer, actually there were two officers, they both had identical helmets, flak jackets, weapons, everything I wore in Iraq, only it was all blue. The officer on one side had a big patch on his back that said Massachusetts State Police. Another officer next to him, his patch said Boston Police. And so what we're doing here, and let's not kid about it, we're building a domestic army and we're shrinking the military because the government is afraid of its own citizens. The last time more than 10 terrorists were in the same place at one time was September 11th, and all these vehicles in the world wouldn't have prevented it, nor would it have helped anybody. So I don't know where we're going to use this many vehicles and this many troops. Concord is just one little cog in the wheel. We're building an army over here, and I can't believe that people aren't seeing it. Is everybody blind? That's all. I'll take that. Passionate issue, but if you please, please, for the first time, I'm asking you uh, not to, to boo or clap. No way to I'll take any questions. Any questions? Thank my wife much. always told my kids there's always free cheese in the mouse trap. <laughs> We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded.